Centers by Ms. Zingle. This video will explain how you will use centers in math class. We will do centers before taking a CRT for review and practice. For each topic you will take a CRT on, you will receive a cover sheet that looks like this. There are different categories such as dry erase, worksheets, versatiles, brain pop, new path learning, and quia. Brain pop, new path learning, and quia are all activities to complete on a computer. When you get to the computer, you will find a pink sign with all the websites, logins, and passwords. Go to the website you choose. If you choose quia, make sure to type in the whole URL so it will take you to my website. Once you get to my webpage, you will see the words activities and quizzes. Most of the activities for you to choose from on your cover sheet will be under the activities section. Find the title of your cover sheet and look for the folder under activities that has the same name. That folder will expand listing all the activities. Choose which one you want to do. Once you choose the one you want to do, you will see one of the following three screens. If the computer takes you to the top left screen, just click play the game. If you see the top right screen, type in your first and last name, then click start now. If the computer brings you to the bottom screen, click on the word matching. Once you have done this, make sure to read the directions at the top of the screen and begin to play the game. When you are finished, raise your hand and I will come sign your cover sheet. If you want to do a brain pop activity, go to www.brainpop.com. This will bring you to the main page. You will need to click on the word log in at the top of the screen. The page will change slightly and a spot for a username and password will appear at the top. Log in using the username and the password on the pink sign. Once you have logged in, click on the purple box that says math. Then you will see a different math topics, one being algebra. Click on algebra and select the video listed on your cover sheet that you want to view. Put on the headphones and watch the video. When the video is finished, you will have the option of replaying the video or play the quiz. Click on play the quiz. You will then want to take the graded quiz. When you are finished answering all 10 questions, you will have three options of what you want to do with your results. Click on View Results. When this screen appears, click OK. When your results appear, raise your hand and I will come over and sign your cover sheet. You will need to get a score of 8 or better. Okay, for the activities that are not on the computer, you will need to go to the crate and find the activity you want to do from your cover sheet. The activities will be in a folder clearly labeled with its name. Pull out one of the sheets, get the appropriate materials to complete the activity, and return to your seat. If you choose a dry erase activity, you will need to get a dry erase marker and an eraser. You will complete these activities by reading the directions and writing your answers on the sheet with the marker. When you are finished, Raise your hand and I will come check your answers and sign your cover sheet. If you choose a versatile activity, you will need a set of versatiles. How you do these activities is like matching. There is 12 questions to answer and then there is an answer box with 12 answers. Solve the first question and then check to see if your solution is one in the answer box. If it is, take the number one tile and put it on the corresponding letter that matches the answer and continue to do this for all 12 questions. Once you have finished, close the versatiles and flip it over and reopen it. It should create a pattern. If it does, raise your hand and I will come over and sign your cover sheet. If it does not, go back and look at the ones that look out of place. If you choose a worksheet, grab one copy of the questions, return to your seat, and answer the questions on a separate sheet of paper. Again, when you are finished, raise your hand and I will come check your answers and sign your sheet. When you are finished with an activity, file it in its appropriate folder before beginning a new activity. When time is up, 
put your cover sheet in the classes folder in the crate. Please use these guidelines while completing centers this year. Mm -hmm.